raise the baby. Yes, I'm going to live out of my car for approximately two months. Good morning. I got a hash brown and we're gonna put some freaking ketchup on it. It's 6.45 in the morning and I really wasn't hungry at all before I left, but that quickly changed. After making that little pit stop at my dad's house and having a delicious wrap with fresh veggies, I really needed a smoothie a few hours later. So I made a protein smoothie with banana and some water. Super simple, super easy, but we were on the go. So you had to do what you had to do. After driving a couple more hours, I made a little pit stop to pick up some fresh veggies and food for the trip because I did not bring anything with me. I cleared out my fridge before the trip and we needed to just stock up. Oh, this is on. Oh, I'm gonna get so triggered. I can already know this. I'm gonna get outsmarted by freaking tent. <laughs> so you may be thinking, who the hell is this random guy on your trip with you? Meet my brother Shane. I have three older brothers, if you guys do not know, and he is the one closest to my age. He is three years older than me, and he messaged me the day before I was supposed to leave, just being like, hey Jube, I think I really need this. Can I come with you? I really need to reconnect with myself, reconnect with nature, and just get away from everybody and I just thought it would be super amazing to spend time with my brother and although this is a complete change of plans again every single video I'm like change of plans change of plans but meet my brother Shane <laughs> We definitely need instructions. You don't. After I get down once, I'll have to sing up in five minutes every spot we go from now on. Alright, well, there's definitely two there. There we go. Oh, boom. That easy? <laughs> we just struggled for like 10 minutes. Okay, now I gotta try it. Oh my god, these mosquitoes are driving me nuts! After doing a little exploring on the first stop of this adventure, I had to make some dinner, but it was getting kind of late, so we're running out of daylight fast. <laughs> I salted my water for my pasta, I added some oil to my pan, threw in my mushrooms and my peppers, along with 
some vegan sausage and this peppercorn thyme spice. We're really just winging it here. We had no real plan and sometimes those are the best meals. After my pasta was cooked and all good to go, I threw it into my pan with my veggies and my vegan sausage along with some lemon juice and some hummus. Mixed everything all on up. You need more white. Oh, yeah. I'll eat that for you. Thanks. Oh my god, I shut my light off. <gasps> Cracking too many bugs. Too many bugs. The next morning, I force fed my brother some AG1 by Athletic Greens because he needed some vitamins in his life, you know? I also had one for myself, and then we made some coffee afterwards. There is something that just speaks to my soul on such a deep level. Making coffee in a forest is just so... Yes. Coffee? I don't know how much sugar you want. I just made you coffee. Why you gotta be so mean? Oh, the bug. Look at that. Welcome to up north. My can opener is really ruining this shot. My friend is still under the table. What? Still under there. Just munching on the sunflower seeds. Like I said, they're raw and plain. Cheers. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but it's a weird looking fly. Moss does kind of feel good on the feet. It does! It's so nice! <laughs> you have to like slide. <laughs> I have no idea how deep the bottom is here at all and I'm scared to put my foot down, so I'm just not. <laughs> I don't know. I just... No. Well, how am I going to find out how deep it is by going under? You don't know that you that I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's cold on the bike. Yeah. Where are you going? Across. Really? Yeah. Okay. Definitely not going to carry you. It's only about 2.30 in the afternoon and it looks like it's about 8 o'clock at night just because it's pouring down rain right now. I'm trapped in my car, unfortunately, which is that's fine. This is part of the adventure. I am going to snack on a little apple and make myself a quick little protein shake, although it's not gonna be cold, which is kind of gross, but it is what it is at the end of the day. So I'm gonna shove a banana in my handy dandy little travel blender. All right, let's make something delicious, but maybe not so delicious. In goes the nanner. Scoop of vegan protein. Wata. Screw on the top or bottom, I guess. Give it a little shake, get the protein powder down. Press the button twice. Beauty. I 
After being trapped in my car for many, many hours, the rain finally subsided and I enjoyed the beautiful view of the sun setting, the clouds passing, the lake. Ugh, it was just a perfect moment, peaceful moment, grateful moment. The moments I have been thinking about for so very long. I haven't really talked about it too, too much, but I love being in the woods. I am a woods baby. I'm an earth baby. I am a river baby. I am a fresh water baby. And I just love, love being connected to nature and in my element. After making that miso soup in the evening, it started pouring down rain again and I quickly fell asleep after <laughs> having something soothing to eat. I didn't finish all of it, as you will see here in just a second. I ate the rest of it for breakfast, basically, after drinking my AG1 beside the lake. I then made a five hour drive and stopped at a Starbucks to do some work. After a long drive and a decent amount of work done, I needed a nourishing and delicious meal, but it's a little bit of a mess with the amount of mosquitoes at this campground. <laughs> This is the reality of camping up north. It's not always peaceful and beautiful and lovely. It is smacking mosquitoes away from your face. The mosquitoes are swarming me. I gotta walk and eat. This is really a peaceful moment. This is what the food looks like. Just go eat in the car. Because <laughs> there's mosquitoes in the car. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. I just want to eat peace. After a lot of smacking myself to get the mosquitoes off of me and many mosquito bites later, I woke up the next morning very early, drove to the same Starbucks that I went to last night to finish up some work that I needed to do. I then munched on my leftover curry that I had the day before, but that only did so much. So I munched on a Cliff Bar as well, and I just ordered a coffee. I bought a mosquito net because last night was absolutely insane and I get it, I know. We're out in the wilderness, that's a part of nature, but I think it would drive anyone, anyone that avidly camps a little bit crazy. <laughs> so, mosquito net for over top of the picnic table. So that way I can cook in peace. I don't know why I didn't think to buy one before, but we're here now, so that's what matters. <laughs> Was aggressive. This is like a four person job. I don't think there's any way I'm getting this up by myself. <sighs> okay. You hold that in, I'll pop this up and pop this in. Okay? okay. Move the tent like over here and then put the whole picnic table in the tent. About a teaspoon worth of chili powder. That was dramatic. Just a touch of chili flakes. Splash of chipotle. Parsley. Kind of a lot. Maybe a teaspoon. <laughs> Green peppers. Lots of red onion. Gotta keep some fresh. It is so much better in here without all of the mosquitoes. Ah! There's still a bugger in here. No, I don't want to 
seed. Oh, this is so thick. A mucho size burrito? It's like, it's like this thick. It's like, you see. So it's a mucho size, yeah, a big ass burrito. Like you need two hands to eat this. After spending quite a bit of time on the beach at the campground that I was staying at, I had to make dinner down there. It was calling me. The vibes were calling me. So I made a delicious stir fry sauce with all of the ingredients before heading down there because I didn't want to bring all of the stuff along with me. And then packed my stuff up and went down to the beach. mosquito back with me. As I was waiting for the water for my noodles to cook, I finally chopped up my onion, ginger, and garlic, and then diced up my yellow pepper and sliced up some cabbage as well. I'm so happy. <laughs> Once the noodles were out of that pot, I got my onion, ginger, and garlic in there to saute for a little while, and then threw a little bit of the sauce in there with it because I didn't bring any oil down to the beach for whatever freaking reason, probably just because I didn't want it to spill. I threw my cabbage in there a couple minutes later along with my yellow peppers and some vegan sausage because I needed some sort of protein element and I ran out of tofu and or tempeh. But yeah, after the veggies all sauteed for a little while, I threw my noodles back in along with my sauce and truly enjoyed this. I am so freaking happy, guys. I enjoyed the lake. I enjoyed the views. I enjoyed my meal. I enjoyed my freaking life in such a peaceful and beautiful way. I love taking life a little bit more slowly, peacefully, mindfully, and just soaking up these beautiful moments that I have within my life because my god, the whole reason I went on this trip was because lakes, rivers, rocks, sand, trees, lakes, rivers, rocks, sand. Oh, we are so blessed with this world that we are on. And I soaked it up again this morning, doing some yoga and connecting to myself while being in nature. After that, I had to make myself a little bagel because I bought bagels and I barely used them as well as making myself a matcha. I haven't had a matcha yet this week and we love matcha here. So the matcha I use is from matcha.com. I absolutely love matcha.com. They are my go-to matcha company and I'm so happy to have them as my partner. So definitely go check out matcha.com and use my code LOVEJULIA to save some money. All of the links will be down in the description box, so do not worry. I threw some peanut butter on my bagel along with some granola because I needed some sort of crunchy sweet element on top too. <laughs> Enjoyed that while I was sipping on my matcha and then we made a five hour drive to this beautiful, beautiful beach, river, lake, scenery place. It was just magical. And for dinner, I made something easy but yet delicious, sauteing up some Brussels sprouts, some onions, I threw some tofu in there, and now we're making a sauce with a bunch of miso, maple syrup, and rice vinegar, and then we're gonna water it down a little bit as well, and then pour that on top of our entire stir fry once things have started to brown. I really had to use up this spinach or it would go bad, so I added a bunch of handfuls to my stir fry, and I would recommend having this with quinoa or rice or rice noodles, but you know, sometimes camping, sometimes living life means being a little bit quote unquote lazy and just making something super flavorful without going to the extra steps of doing anything more. So once dinner was done, I sat, enjoyed, and chit-chatted. I really hope you guys enjoyed this more calm, peaceful video. Let me know down in the comments because I feel so beyond happy my friends and I hope my happiness is radiating through the screen to you right now I hope your heart is open I hope your heart is full and I'm sending you all so much love have a beautiful rest of your day